Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today I want to talk about a dear friend of mine who many years ago entrusted me to tell you all about his journey with God and how Jesus always urged him on, keep walking, son. Sam was born in the 1940s with severe disabilities on the wrong side of the track and in an abusive home. He had a cleft palate that was not easy to repair, extreme hearing loss, and when he was around five or six, he had to have his legs amputated just below the knee. As Sam liked to say, he was dealt a pretty rotten hand. But somewhere along the way, somebody told him about Jesus. And although he was not yet ready to open up his heart to Jesus, he knew that Jesus was walking alongside of him. Because of Sam's disability, he missed an awful lot of school, and his home life was terrible. And when he did make it to school, his school years were harsh as well. And so in his very early teens, Sam hit the road and he could sense Jesus was walking alongside of him, although he was still not ready to surrender his heart to him. And he felt Jesus saying to him, keep on walking, son. Your journey's not yet done. Sam was an actual hobo for many years, riding the rails, traveling back and forth across the United States. He lived in hobo camps and did what he had to do to get by. He made some foolish decisions along the way and had to pay the price for those decisions. And some of his friends took advantage of his disabilities more than once and stole what few possessions he had. Those were bitter years and Sam hardened his heart against man and God, but somehow he always knew. Jesus was nearby. That voice walking beside him urged him on, keep walking, Sam. Just keep on walking. Gradually, Sam began to trust that voice and allow Jesus into the darkest areas of his heart. The kindness of his Savior led to repentance, and repentance led to his transformation. Sam had to settle down as his arms just could no longer carry him. So he ended up in the slums in a wheelchair. Sam looked for every opportunity to introduce his neighbors to Christ's redeeming love. And Jesus smiled and encouraged him, keep on walking, Sam. Sam lived on a small government pension and yet he was more than generous with what he had with those around him. And there were those in the process of learning to walk in Christ who often took advantage of that generosity. But Sam, long ago, determined that he would never return to the prison of bitterness and unforgiveness. And he kept his heart open and Jesus cheered him on. Eventually, Sam discovered the internet and he discovered a little chat room that I had. And in that chat room, he met his brother, Michael. Although they were not related by blood, although they had never met in person, they forged a friendship deeper than just about any friendship I've seen. When Sam's housing situation became intolerable, Michael and the rest of his family helped Sam move to their small town. It was thousands of miles away, and it was a risk for Sam. But Sam heard Jesus say, Keep on walking, Sam. Your journey's not done. Sam spent the last years of his life in this small town, surrounded by a community who fell in love with this determined old man who wheeled his way into their hearts when a ghost from his past unexpectedly appeared. Sam 
trusted Jesus and he chose not to run away, although everything inside of Sam wanted to run. And Jesus walked with him as Sam faced his past. This time he was not alone. Sam's new family welcomed him home, the conquering hero, as God did a mighty miracle on his behalf. Sam's presence on the internet dwindled as a local hospice ministry took most of his time and energy. You see, he went there every day. His friend Michael was a good friend of mine and kept me updated about all the things that Sam was up to. Sam was happy and very content in his new life. He had a church family who both loved and respected him. And when things got really rough, he knew that they would have his back. One day, Sam found himself in a doctor's office with his friend Mike. The doctor had some difficult news for Sam. Sam was suffering with irreversible liver damage and he had not much time to live. Sam's response startled his doctor but made Michael laugh. Sam pumped his arm in the air at the news. Yes, I finally get to go home. Within days of the news, Sam walked across the finishing line into the arms of his beloved Jesus. Welcome home, son. Welcome home. Your journey's done. Life is not a sprint, it's often said. It's a marathon. Sam ran his race very well. May we, when we hit the wall, push through the pain and keep on going. When life trips us up, may we pick ourselves up and keep on walking. May we all run our race as well as Sam. Second Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith.